Welcome back. This is Sports Cards 24-7. Today we're going to do a something old Saturday. Why not? Mix it up a little bit. I've had this 1986 set for a long time now. And I wanted to get it out, put the uh, big cards in some top loaders and penny sleeves and get them protected. And I also want to just show you a couple little uh, things out of my PC here. Everybody's seen these with the blaster boxes this year. That's a Juan Soto and a Vladdy Jr. But this is where the original set came from, the 1964 tops. And this one is very sharp, very good centering. Just a beautiful example of that set. And uh, I picked this up pretty recently. So traded some modern stuff for older cards is always a smart bet. And I also got this 66 tops right there. Mickey Mantle in pretty good shape. It's got a little bit of a beat up corner. These in the uh, team bags don't take well to the glare. So sorry. It's not the easiest to see. But just a couple PC hits there. I love those guys. And the 64 tops is one of my new favorites just because of how good a shape it is. And this year with them uh, making the jumbos in the blaster box, it's kind of cool. I'd like to get that whole set. There's some really good Hall of Famers in the 64 set. This tape that was held on there is literally just falling off. So hopefully this is not a searched set. We'll go ahead and find out together. I paid decent money for this, but before the craze and raise in prices, so you can find these sets for real reasonably priced too. It's not too crazy. There are some great names in this set too. Barry Bonds, Jose Canseco, and my favorite, Bo Jackson. So let's go ahead and pull half of these cards out. Try to keep them in as best a shape as possible. Alright, let's do this. I wonder if they're numbered when they come out. I mean, in... Good looking set. And these are in good shape for a 1986 set. Dick Williams. We're going to be looking for a few big names here. King Griffey. Senior, of course. From the Braves. This is the traded set and obviously draft picks and late season acquisition. Ooh, 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 he is looking good right there. This guy's first top card. Let's get him in a penny sleeve. Oh, what a beautiful card. I love these 86 tops. They're just so... Beautiful. Black and white with a team name on top. And that guy is in beautiful shape. The top's got a little bit of whitening on there, but it's in beautiful shape. Look at that bow. He is a beast. Wow. He was just, or is, just an exceptional. What did I do? How did I... I think I mixed these in. We're going to have to go right through it real quick again. Sorry, folks. I think I put those cards right on top of the old ones. I got excited when I saw Bo Jackson, his first official tops card. Dan Plesak, ML M or, yeah, MLB Network. I don't know if that's his rookie card or not. Billy Joe. Robidoux or <laughs> Bob Walk, pitcher, great name. Hopefully he threw a lot of strikes, didn't walk too many people. Billy Sample, Jerry, Kevin Mitchell, nice card, good shape. This black on the top is so hard to get perfect. It's a very, very hard set to grade out Jim Mint. Lou Pinella. Finding the bow in there is a good sign that this has not been... Alright, yeah, here we go. I think I did already go through these few. Yep, King Griffey's right there. They're in no such order whatsoever. So, Canseco and Barry Bonds. 
And there's, I don't know if there's any other names that are Otis Nixon, John Crook. Look how young he is. Wow. Nice. Wally Jr. These are in great shape. I'm actually pleasantly surprised in how good of shape these are in. 1986. 30 some odd years old. Almost as old as I am. Oh, beautiful. That actually has no whiting at all on the top. That is in good shape. Let's get that. Beautiful example of Barry Bonds' first tops card. I recommend people go find a set from a reputable source. Make sure it has at least that piece of tape on it. Look at that. Two beautiful examples. Oh, I'm really excited. Now, the centering on this one is horrible. Wow, look how bad that's cut. It's in good shape, but the centering is so bad. Wow. I don't think they're purposely cut that way, but a lot of these are. The bow's okay, but the centering on him. Oh, that's so disappointing. So disappointing. Juan Bonilla. Nick Allen. Kurt Sitwell, Milt Thompson, Juan Aguilar, alright, this is, I don't know, are these cards supposed to be cut that bad off center, because this whole set looks like it is, nope, this is just a bad cut set, look how these are all over the place, ah, uh, what a bummer. They're cool cards, I'm not going to complain, but still, they look like they were cut by someone having a real bad day. Conseco's first card. 1986, had some pretty good players coming in the end of the season there. Alright, Tim Leary. J tips. I also got a nineteen ninety one. Look at Leyland there. These cards are just horribly cut. I'm sorry folks. But I don't think any of these are gonna be gem mint by any means. Person that was in charge of cutting these was definitely having a bad day. <laughs> At least the three big names there wasn't searched out of it so that's one good thing it is so hard to tell if three cards are missing out of 132 who else am I missing out of this set I'm sure when we go by them we'll find them I know of those three names right there I can't think of another one off the top of my head hey that checklist is the only card that's got pretty good centering so far <laughs> Oh, man. I'm actually going to look at that real quick. Make sure we didn't miss anyone. Moose Haas. That is a great baseball name right there. Moose. Tom Seaver. There we go. That's actually in really good shape. Pretty good. Pretty good centering. Jim Fergosi. Randy Neyman. Mike Elser. Dave Schmidt, John Crudy, Phil Necro, Indians card, is in pretty good shape too. Hall of Famer. Ozzy Virgil, Virgil. So you're not going to get every big name. You're getting your traded players and your late season acquisition, I'm sure. And, uh, some rookies.
but not every player in every team, obviously. Unless they were traded and picked up by another team, then the card will be created. Will Clark? Is that Will Clark's rookie? I believe this is Will Clark's rookie. Nice. There we go. Another good name right there. Bad cut, but... Don Baylor. All right. Getting down there, guys. And girls, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone watching, I appreciate everything you've done for the channel so far. I really do enjoy doing this with y'all. Breaking open some packs and sets and going through them with you. This is a lot of fun. Been sitting on this set for a long time now. And, uh, hey, quite a few Hall of Famers and could be Hall of Famers. Phil Necro, Tom Seaver, Will Clark. Then these three cards. Really not the best centering, but still great to have in any collection. This is a secret set not a lot of people know of all these people in it and if you're new to collecting you want some vintage cards find this 86 set traded series and you know make sure it's not pack search go through it and pull the good cards out of them put them in some sleeves or even pack them away it's definitely a good set worth having for the money you can't complain with some of the cards you get you pull a really nice one like this is probably the best out of those from right to left, the centering is definitely off, but it's nice. If that grades out, it's a $75 card. You know, Jim Mint, they go for around 100 Not a bad investment. It's a good gamble. A lot of fun. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching tonight. This has definitely been a little throwback video. I'm going to throw in some, you know, stuff I get through shows if I ever get to go to any more. And uh, what I pick up and what I do some trades with. I like to uh, show what I'm investing in. And I always suggest getting vintage cards. It's always a good call. These guys are not going to be getting taken out of the Hall of Fame anytime soon. And some of these guys like the prospects we have no clue about. They might be great and it might be a good investment. But I suggest investing in the sure thing. These cards are not going to be getting any better condition. So if you can find some nice uh, older vintage, pick it up if it's reasonable. Thank you so much. Have a great night, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.